science facility. There's that siege tank now. The science facility should be uh, building already. And it looks like we're even seeing um, a dropship being produced. So it could be kind of an interesting dual-pronged attack. Siege tanks on the front door, pushing against those lurkers. A medic marine drop uh, along that back edge simultaneously. And it looks like we might see a, uh, a kind of the burrow kind of push through here. Bur and try to push those lurkers through that burrowed lane. No, they're going to open up actually that temple for a backdoor attack. But Flash running straight up to that upper right-hand corner, able to get a good comp set up, completely catching Hero out of position. It looks like he has nothing there to defend. A couple lurkers coming in from behind, but I'm going to be able to absolutely wipe this base out. Two lurkers dying before they're even able to plant. And now the Mule's running up, and it looks like Flash is easily going to be able to take this match. Uh, easily going to be able to advance, I think, because I, I don't see Hero holding this base. Actually, take it back. Not a lot of uh, Medic Marines left. There's still some lurkers to pop, but uh, this is uh, severely disrupting his economy. Um, it, okay, now, now he's finally able to take that out, but losing all of his Mules to do so... And yeah, I gotta say, this is gonna delay, specifically losing that gas, it's gonna delay Swarm all the longer. Uh, Flash should be able to reproduce a Medic Marine Force fairly quickly here. Yeah, that temple wall is going to be opened up, but what is he going to throw at it? Uh, and you can see there's that drop in that bottom right-hand base, that hive completely exposed, and Hero's economy is in shambles, has nothing to work with. Uh, so I, I think Hero, his best shot is going to be to go all in, might even lose that spire. Let's see if those medic marines can go and pull back and take that out. Lurker's coming into the back and actually using that spire as a defensive structure to, to take out those zerglings. Um, still doing a lot of damage, and again, oh, taking out another lurker. Beautiful marine control. Two lurkers down to four, uh, five marines. It's just been calm setting and positioning these marines beautifully to take out these lurkers. You'd not think that this was as small a force as it is, the amount of damage they have wreaked. Uh, and finally lurkers able to sneak up and Hero's got to these need to be hero lurkers for Hero the dun dun sh um, If he's going to end up coming back in this match, it looks like he might get no, doesn't even get an SCV kill. Um, Carapace 1. And there's the, the four siege tank battering force with that science vessel overhead and medic marines to boot. And I don't think Hero has even if he does have swarm, I don't think he's going to have enough swarm to really defend against this and even if he does manage to keep that attack force back uh, flash is going to be able to just uh, hold map position he's going to be able to take over everything looks like some medic marines kind of cycling back around he's going to realize that temple wall is gone but those lurkers not long for life Oh, going to run headlong and running away from the tanks, running headlong into the medic marines. Uh, now they're completely wiped out. At least he knows this attack front, this attack is coming in. So he's going to try to run forward with whatever he has, but running right into marines right on the front. Uh, and again, the lurker is not burrowed. Going to lose one right in the corner, and he's able to dodge out with only losing a single marine. Once again, I've got to say this has been superb marine medic micro from Flash. It's been absolutely beautiful. It looks like he's going to try to, I assume, take a hidden expansion that top left and just hope that Flash cannot uh, take it. But honestly, uh, it's just too little too late. His economy's just been too hurt. I don't think he's going to have Swarm out to really defend. He does have the Defiler um, chamber, but there, we're going to see Siege Tech with those four tanks. He has nothing to defend against this. He really needed, I don't know, something else, basically, to defend against this second starport being placed. To radiate on the uh, <laughs> on the Scourge. Another drop going in. So it looks like it's going to be a drop in the main and a siege tank push on the front door. And I don't think, yeah, again, Hero does not have enough. This has been absolutely superb TVZ. And really, Flash is looking scary. He is looking kind of like the master right here that we expected to see some Zerglings coming out uh, to the second day. They are going to be able to clean that attack force off. Uh, looks like they're pretty decent upgrades here for Flash, pulling those lurkers back, and it's just a matter of time. I think Hero's trying to buy himself time um, for Swarm, but again, even if he does have Swarm, I don't know that it's going to really help him out all that much because those siege tanks can just pummel right through it. Going for a big counterattack, it looks like, well, actually a sizable counterattack, I should say, uh, but there's Medic Marines there to greet him, and it looks like he's going to be caught without the bro. Let's see if Flash can back out and time. It looks like he's not microing very well. He's distracted by this drop, so it looks like Hero might actually be able to do a press um, right on the main. Another Defiler coming out. No, it looks like he was able to evacuate those troops, and more just elevating his entire attack force here into the hive with those siege tanks. And wow, um, absolutely devastating. He's going to end up losing, it looks like, that uh, that spire this time. I don't think he can hold it. There's that spire down. Might even lose his spawning pool. Um, at the very least, his economy getting completely battered left and right. And interestingly enough, Flash completely flipping this map on its head. It's usually you'll see Terran trying to keep up with the Zerg in mobility, but just adding that dropship in early and playing low two base, he's forced the Zerg um, hero to try to keep up with him and try to defend all his territory. Firebats in the mix, and uh, I think that's enough Firebats. Yeah, easily going to be able to take out all those lurkers, and really needed Ultralisks at this stage. Doesn't have the gas to do it. Doesn't have anything to do it, and Flash just looking brutal 
two starports running, he's easily going to be able to take another expansion should he need it, which he really doesn't need it because he's just got a huge attack force. He still has all of those siege tanks, his fire bats, his marines. He's got the kitchen sink. If He could go make himself a meal right now and probably still win this game uh, if he felt like it. The Zergling's just running headlong to... It's almost like it's their job to die right now. Uh, those siege tanks a little bit exposed, but even that... I don't know. I think Flash is like, ah, oh, let's let him have a moral victory there. you got a siege tank. Um, so at the very least, it looks like Flash is going to start pushing up. He's not as much concerned, I think, with the Hive anymore. Uh, he's going to swing back around. He's got another dropship. It looks like it's going to head to that top left base. Those Zerglings and those Lurkers, I don't think they're going to be able to deal against that um, all that long. Well, maybe. Depends on where Flash is kind of doing a stagger drop right here, dropping that fire bat now. And, okay, two fire bats. Uh, still that Lurker unburrowed, and now Hero losing his Hydro Sten in that top right hand corner, that Lurker not even burrowing in the top left, and uh, that's going to be GG. Yeah, goodbye Hatchery, uh, down to two bases, Flash just too powerful. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, thank you for listening.